Oh sh Here we go again. My clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. What Boruto needs. Alright guys, today I want to talk about a couple of things that I feel like Boruto needs to actually be better. Now, of course, we all know that Boruto isn't necessarily the best as of right now in terms of all the other anime. In my opinion, I really love Boruto. I think Boruto is doing great, but in terms of the other people that really like the action side of Boruto and the action side of all other anime, I really understand where they're coming from and because Boruto is not necessarily giving them a lot of action, a lot of deep plot progression, Boruto is becoming a little bit uninteresting. So as I said in this video, I'll be telling you guys a couple of things that I think that Boruto should and actually could implement to make the anime of Boruto a lot more interesting. Now, first things first, I know a lot of you guys might not remember this mainly because it was so long ago. But Boruto has an eye dojutsu. Now the thing about Boruto's eye dojutsu is the fact that it pops up a lot. I'm gonna stop saying eye dojutsu because I know a lot of you guys hate when I say eye dojutsu. Well, let's just say Boruto's Jogen. The Jogen pops up every once in a while. The last time we got solid plot development or solid Jogen development, dojutsu development, I don't know, whatever, whatever you guys wanna call it, is back in the first arc of Boruto. Since the first arc of Boruto, we haven't really seen anything in terms of the eye dojutsu or the, sorry, the Jogen. Now in that point we got to see a couple of things. First things first being is that Boruto's eye could see through different dimensions. Boruto's eye can open time space and then jutsu portals. Boruto's eye can also see chakra points. A whole bunch of stuff that we did get to see in only 16 episodes of the Boruto anime. And since that point we haven't seen anything. And I think that the Boruto anime is definitely dropping the ball on this. Mainly because the Boruto manga has the karma seal on lock. The Boruto manga is developing the plot. It's progressing the information that we we have on the karma seal and the anime is supposed to be doing that exact same thing on the idol jutsu of boruto or on the jogan of boruto now there's a couple of ideas i have upon why they're not necessarily implementing or progressing the information on the jogan and it's the fact that the writers themselves don't even know what it is if you guys recall back in the boruto movie the jogan wasn't there the jogan wasn't implemented at all and that's highly because they forgot to give boruto the byakugan i know in that sentence it's a little funny but overall it's definitely not a funny thing it's not a laughing matter mainly because the main draw or the main attraction to Boruto for the first couple of episodes was forgotten in the first Boruto movie and when the first episode of the Boruto anime came about they're basically developing Boruto Jogen this new dojutsu on the fly they didn't necessarily know exactly what they were going to put into it they didn't know what it was and I think that's definitely a reason why we have not seen it since episode 16 and since the first arc of Boruto I personally thought that we we're going to definitely get to see it a lot more in the upcoming episodes but it looks like i was wrong i personally feel like as of right now it's definitely the time to introduce the boruto eye a lot more and also give us a lot more information about boruto's eye especially since i don't think we're going to get to see the boruto manga content for right now and i know a lot of you guys are going to think well, we need the boruto content right now i definitely want to see it but i don't necessarily think that we need it now here's one of the reasons why we're probably not going to get boruto manga content for the foreseeable future or at least for the next couple of months and it's the fact that the boruto manga is lagging so much behind if the boruto anime were to adapt the boruto manga as of right now the boruto anime would catch up to the manga in about six months to a year and the boruto writers don't want the boruto anime to pass the boruto manga so early in the series as you guys know they need to make boruto shippuden or part two of boruto and of course they want part two of boruto's manga to be ahead of part two boruto's anime and a great way to take advantage of the boruto anime not being able to adapt the manga is by giving the anime a lot more information than the manga can actually give now i know a lot of you guys didn't really watch the manga during the first couple of chapters but one of the big parts of the manga that was really confusing is the fact that boruto actually had a byakugan and as i said earlier they forgot to give boruto the byakugan in the actual boruto movie so they did want boruto to have a byakugan and because of that little mishap right there the boruto manga is not really going to touch boruto's eye for the foreseeable future that's why they're focusing solely on the karma seal as of right now and rightfully so because kawaki is a very interesting subject matter but the anime as i said perfect time to focus on boruto's eye and they should definitely be developing what what Boruto can do with his dojutsu. I would love to see a long extended arc where Boruto is forced to use his eye and also where Naruto and everybody else realizes that Boruto has an eye that he could possibly use. Now there's a couple of people in the Boruto anime that realized that Boruto has a dojutsu and it's Sumire, Mitsuki and also Sasuke. Sumire seen it when Boruto's eye sprouted, Mitsuki seen it a couple of times and Sasuke seen it when Boruto and Momoshiki were actually 
talking to each other. Now, because Sasuke seeing this opens a very interesting possibility for Sasuke to possibly train Boruto with his eye. Sasuke could possibly teach Boruto how to activate it, how to use it effectively. And of course, since Sasuke doesn't necessarily have the joke and he's not going to necessarily be an expert in this type of thing, but he is an expert in all other eye dojus, especially when it comes to the Sharingan and the Renegon, and hopefully he can possibly help him. That could possibly be a very interesting thing for Boruto to learn from Sasuke in the future. Now, off of Boruto's eye, because I think that there are multiple other things that can really help the Boruto anime, and one of the biggest things has to be the diversity of the missions. Now, Boruto's missions have been decent. I've made no secret about it. I enjoyed the Mitsuki Retrieval arc. I've enjoyed the Jugo arc, but those are decent missions. They pale in comparison to the Sasuke Retrieval arc, to some of the Akatsuki arcs. I feel like Boruto definitely needs to go on one of those extended arcs that are life or death situations. For example, the Sasuke Retrieval arc, there are multiple life or death situations. Shikamaru almost died. Kiba almost died. Choji almost died. And not only that, in that arc, there are collaborations with other villages. We all know how big Shinki is right now. There are a lot of people that really like Shinki and they definitely want to see Shinki in the future. So it would possibly be amazing to see Boruto go on a mission where it's a life or death situation and also bring along Shinki and also force Shinki and Mitsuki to possibly fight to their greatest extent. Those missions won't only be entertaining, but they will also push characters like Boruto and Sada to be better and fight harder in the future. Of course, we know that the skills for Naruto and Sasuke basically exploded when they did go on life or death missions. When we think about the Zabuza mission, when we think about the Chunin exam, when we see these characters in life or death situations, they get a lot stronger. Now, of course, there are a lot of things that can possibly help the Boruto anime, but I do want to bring up one last thing that can definitely help the Boruto anime, and it's implementing the last generation. I feel like Boruto currently is focusing too much on the new generation, and rightfully so. It's the new generation's time. It's the new generation's anime, but there are abundance of things that they can possibly do with characters like Sasuke, with characters like Naruto, with characters like Shikamaru, and other characters like that. The Boruto anime is pretty much trying to solely exploit the skills and character development of the new generation. And of course, when we think about Naruto, there are multiple scenes where the new generation, which was Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, weren't even big proponents of a lot of these fights. For example, when we think about the first arc, which is the Zabuza arc, that was a fight solely between Kakashi and Zabuza. Of course, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura did help. I should say Naruto and Sasuke did help a lot during that fight, but the main two fighters was Kakashi and Zabuza. And when you think about Boruto, we barely, and I mean barely get to see Konohamaru fight. We barely get to see characters like Sasuke and Naruto even participate in episodes. And I think that they're basically wasting a whole chunk of content that they could possibly push out that a lot of the fans will appreciate. We're gonna appreciate Naruto being in the anime. We're gonna appreciate Sasuke being in the anime. We're gonna appreciate even Shikamaru, even Sakura, even more characters like that being in the anime. It doesn't have to necessarily be extremely fan-friendly characters. One of the most interesting characters that I think that could be introduced in the Boruto anime is Kabuto. Kabuto was a very strong character at the end of Naruto Shippuden. It would be a very interesting thing if we do get to see an arc where Kabuto and Shinuchiya are assisting Team 7. And once that happens, it won't be the same old, same old, where Mitsuki is pretty standoffish male because they don't want to necessarily show us Mitsuki's full potential, where Boruto is just throwing off a whole bunch of Rasengan, where Sada just activated her one tone with Shinigan. We can also get to see Shinuchiya use his Mangekyo Shinigan. We can also see a lot of the hacks jutsus and hacks abilities and, and even forbidden jutsus that Kabuto has in his arsenal. And not only that, we know he has Snake Sage as well. Things like that could definitely spice up the board to anime. And I really hope that they do implement a lot of these things that I do talk about in this video. But I do want to turn the question over to you guys. What do you guys think that the board to anime could definitely improve on? And what do you think that they should implement in the board to anime to make it a little bit better? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's me, your boy, Bar. RB. And we out. It's a knife. Check my clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Beam in my body. Clothing, no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your sexual. No high cholesterol. Where's any crib? Bitch, just get sexual. <laughs> oh, oh, there they are. So many beautiful girls.
じゃあお得意のギャンブルと行こうお前はわしの死の方にかけろお前の賭けは必ず外れるからの I know how about making a bet with me you gamble everything on me dying after all Tsunade you always lose your bets isn't that right <laughs> 